All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So today I wanted to make a video on the bodybuilder Leroy Colbert, a.k.a. Mr. Yorkie Lover Fitness on YouTube. Now, he died on November 20th, 2015, unfortunately, at the age of 82. Um, but he, this guy was very active on YouTube for such an old guy. He was posting videos all the time about how to live a healthy lifestyle, how to train, how to eat. Um, all the different supplements to take, all that kind of stuff. And this guy was known for being the first man to ever have 21 inch arms or greater. And he also claims to have achieved those 21 inch arms completely naturally. I'm not going to dispute that claim in this video. I'm just going to go ahead and give some facts about this guy because I think he deserves a little bit of a tribute video. He did a lot for the fitness industry in terms of, you know, the information that he spread on YouTube um, and also in terms of what he achieved during his competitive career. So he's an IFBB Hall of Famer. His two best title wins include the Mr. New York City and the Mr. Eastern American. Um, so again, his arm measurement was 21.25 inches, which was the first arm to measure 21 inches or greater. His chest was 52 inches. His waist was 32 inches. Um, and he had 28 inch thighs at about 205 pounds body weight in competition condition. So unfortunately, in 1955, he had a very bad motorcycle accident, which kind of brought his bodybuilding career and his bodybuilding dreams to a screeching halt. Um, but after that, a lot of people don't know this, but he was actually an IFBB professional judge, and he actually was one of the judges on the panel at the very first Mr. Olympia competition in 1965. So I don't think he really talked about that too much on his YouTube channel, but he was actually an IFBB judge, and he was a very good friend of Joe Weeder's as well. And I believe that's how he got into that into that judging gig. So he was also on the cover, famously, he was on the cover of Muscle and Power in 1953. And this was two years prior to his accident, so he was still in peak condition and peak shape. This was a big deal at the time because if you guys think about it, 1953, there was still a great deal of racism in this country. So for a black man to be on the cover of a magazine in 1953, especially a bodybuilding magazine, so we're talking about a shirtless, pantsless black man. You can see the black man's entire body on the cover of a magazine. This was a very big deal um, in terms of, you know, just civil rights and all the things that were going on at that point in time, 1953, you know, our country was still a very polarized place and it still is to this day, but 1953 things were really bad. So that was a really big deal for Leroy to have been on that cover. So he was really revolutionary in terms of, you know, being one of the first black men to grace the cover of a bodybuilding magazine. Um, so after his bodybuilding career and after his judging stint in the IFPB, he went on to own a health food store, which he owned pretty much until his death. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.